And now to a health alert, and this one is some very encouraging news. The FDA has approved a new drug to treat Alzheimer's, and part of the credit for this discovery goes to doctors here in South Florida at the University of Miami. CBS 4's Ted Scouten has more on how it works and the role UM played in this. It will be offered at UM. It was just approved today, so it'll be some time before it actually is available clinically. But yes, we will be offering it at UM. This is a new type of treatment for Alzheimer's disease. Biogen's aducamumab is given by infusion every four weeks, and researchers say it targets the disease in a way that's never been done before. The Alzheimer's Association calls the FDA's approval historic for patients and their families. It treats the underlying course of the disease. Amyloid is the sticky spot um, that clogs up the brain. Um, by removing that, it is assumed that the individual will have clinical benefit um, and improvements in cognitive decline. Doctors at the University of Miami helped with the research. You, in theory, could halt the disease in its tracks, so stop the disease process. Now, while cognition and memory and thinking may not improve significantly, the fact is by stopping the disease, people might be able to improve their quality of life and other treatments may be available to help improve the symptoms. Six million Americans are currently living with Alzheimer's disease in the U.S. Until now, other Alzheimer's drugs only manage symptoms. Up until today, we have really only had mildly affected medications that had limited effects on symptoms without treating the underlying disease. This would be the first drug that would be able to treat the underlying disease and potentially could make a huge advance for patients and for their families and open the door for future research of new medications as well. This treatment ushers in a new era in Alzheimer's treatments. And we know that a first-in-class drug invigorates the treatment pipeline overall. The decision to approve the drug comes despite objections from the FDA's independent panel of neurological experts. The Food and Drug Administration is not required to follow their advice. Dr. Caleb Alexander is an FDA advisor who recommended against the drug's approval. I think the jury is still out on whether it works. And uh, there is a clear standard uh, that manufacturers have to meet. Uh, in order to gain market access. And in this instance, I think that the evidence is still quite murky as to the safety and especially the effectiveness of this product. The FDA is requiring the drug maker to conduct a follow-up study to confirm benefits for patients. The FDA could pull the drug from the market if the study fails to show effectiveness. Ted Scouten, CBS4 News.